So these files are kind of, you know, ready to go, and you're like, well, that's great, Steve, but what does that really mean when I have a photo to work with? So let me take a look at, uh, let me show you what a photo would look like when you first get it. Okay, so this is the original photograph. And the original file size here is about 14.4 megabytes. And notice that it's RGB. Now, this was taken with just a point and shoot sort of digital camera. Nothing fancy about this camera. But most times, when you download a photo, say from iStock, uh, if you take a photo with your digital camera, if you, um, if you were to get this from a photographer, a lot of times when you get these photos, they're going to come to you like this with a huge size. So this width is 27 inches by 36. That's huge. It's like a poster. But Again, it has low resolution here. It's only 72 pixels per inch. There's not much information per inch there. So what we need to do is proportionally squeeze our uh, width and height down to the resolution that we need. So I want you to take a look over here when I change these uh, little check marks down here in the bottom left. What you want to do to see what, what this file size is going to be useful to you at, whether you're going to be printing a flyer, whether you're going to be printing a brochure, let's see what kind of resolution will work for us. Down here where it says resample image, I'm going to click off that check mark. And notice how these three little marks here are now connected. That means proportionally when I change this resolution, the width and height is going to follow. So if we were to go to press and say this needed to be for a brochure, uh, I'm going to type in 300. Okay, so when I type in 300, proportionally it distributed that information, and now I know that I can use this file at about 6.5 inches by almost 9 inches, and it will look good. It will be nice and sharp and crisp and clear uh, for my brochure. Now, if I were to do, say, a flyer, okay, uh, and let's say I talked to my printer, uh, let's say it was Kinko's, and they said, you know what, you only need about 200 uh, DPI, so sweet, okay. 200 and now I know that I can use it for that project at almost 10 inches by 13 inches okay now of course when we change this back down to 72 it's going to really jump up uh, the size here but we would definitely be able to use this for anything on screen on screen with web video any kind of multimedia projects so for high resolution 300 um, that file is going to be great